Welcome to the No Cuttable Object Auto Tracing video for the Vinyl Express Setup DVD. Many times, when trying to cut an imported image within the LXI software, a message of No Cuttable Object with Current Settings will show up. In this video, we will cover these three points. First, show why this message shows up by explaining image types. Second, a walkthrough of how to vectorize an image to convert it into a cuttable one. And finally, how to clean up a traced image so that it will cut smoothly. With that, let's get started on the first point of why does the no cuttable object message show up on some graphics? In the world of vinyl cutting, there are two types of images, vector images and raster images. On a computer screen, these images can look exactly the same, but only vector images can be cut by a vinyl cutter. When we try to cut a raster image, we get the message no cuttable object. Within our LXI software, here's an example of a vector image along with a raster image. They may appear identical, but on further inspection, we will see that these images are very different. Zooming in on the top image, which is a vector image, we will see that the image is made up of paths or curves. This is highlighted when we tell a vector image to go into wireframe by means of the fill stroke editor. What we're looking at, again, are those paths. These paths are what a vinyl cutter's blade will follow as it cuts out an image. Different points, called nodes, are mapped out, which make the coordinates of the image. It's like a dot-to-dot -dot picture with the lines filled in. A vinyl cutter can process this information of nodes or dots and follow them to cut out your image. Common vector file types are .eps or .ai. Now we'll take a look at the raster image. Raster images are made up by using hundreds or thousands of pixels or specks of color to make an image. These images have no instructions about tracing edges of objects and are generally rough on the edges. You'll notice on curves that they literally look like stair-stepping. Since it uses pixels of color and not paths to define an edge, it is not possible for a vinyl cutter to cut these images. They must first be traced. The process of tracing a raster image is called vectorizing. Common raster file types are JPEG, GIF, bitmap, .png, TIFF, or .psd. It must be noted, most of the images found on the internet are raster files. Only files that specifically state that they are a vector file or in a vector format can be cut with a vinyl cutter. Otherwise, the image must be traced or vectorized. Also, in most cases, the easiest option is to use a vector file when available. Most vector images are able to be cut with little or no adjustment. This takes us to the second part of our video, which is a walkthrough on how to vectorize an image so that it can be converted into a cuttable one. LXI is divided up into four levels of designing features. Apprentice is the most basic. It does not have the ability to trace a raster image. Thus, a system using the apprentice level of LXI has no way to cut out raster images. The second level of LXI, Expert, contains the option to auto trace. It is this feature that is used to convert a raster image so that it can be cut with the vinyl cutter. Upgrading from apprentice to expert is a must to be able to trace raster images. Note, auto trace will only work on one layer or color. Thus, it is not able to separate a multicolored image into multiple cuttable layers. If, for example, it is desired to trace an image that has three separate colors into three separate layers, the auto trace feature does not have this ability. However, the Master Plus level of the software contains what's called a color trace, which allows for tracing a raster image into multiple colors and layers. The following is instructions on how to use the auto trace tool, which is included in systems running expert, master, or master plus levels of LXI. First, it must be stated, this process takes effort. With practice and use, a user will become much more efficient at the process of auto tracing. However, there are a variety of settings left up to the user to control their quality of trace. Getting started, we need to import a raster image that we want to cut. From the menu at the top, choose File, and then Import. Navigate to the desired file and then click Import. Then click anywhere on the design screen to bring the image in. I'm going to make this image a little bit bigger so it's easier to work with. With the image on the screen, select the Auto Trace tool. It looks like an outline Z. 
Once selected, Design Central will show all of the settings for Auto Trace. We'll take a moment and go through these. The first is Noise Reduction. If the original image is clean and sharp, keep this setting low. If the image is not very crisp, increase the noise reduction to filter out some of the sloppiness of the image. Resolution. This controls the overall detail of the trace. If the overall scan of the trace is detailed, reduce the resolution. If a more exact trace is desired, have the resolution at full. Tolerance. This is the sensitivity of the auto trace tool. If the image is faded, have the tolerance at a lower setting, which means the trace will be more sensitive. If the trace is picking up too much detail, increase the tolerance, which makes the trace less sensitive. Corner style. At the bottom, you can control the trace style. You can make things relatively rounded or keep your corner style more edged. It is up to the user to work through these settings to obtain the quality of scan desired. This will take effort and practice to dial in the best trace. Once you've adjusted your settings how you like, we're now ready to create the actual trace. Do this by clicking and dragging a blue dotted box around the image while the auto trace tool is selected. When you unclick, the image will appear to be the same but actually an outline trace has been created. Before doing anything else, click on the black select arrow tool. The outline trace will automatically be selected. It will be outlined in red on the screen. On one of the red lines, click and drag the traced image away from the original image. If you're happy with the results of the trace and do not want to adjust the settings of the auto trace within Design Central, delete the original image. You will be left with the traced outlined image, which can be sent to your vinyl cutter. However, in most cases, when a bitmap is traced, the outline traced is still quite jagged. Usually, you'll need to zoom into the image to see this. This will take us to the third portion of the video, how to clean up a traced image so that it will cut smoothly. This image will need to be cleaned up using path editing tools within the LXI software. On my screen is this bar of tools right below your standard toolbar. If your path editing tools are not showing, you can cause them to show up by clicking View, Toolbars, and then make sure a check mark is within Path Edit. Here is a brief overview of the Path Edit tools. Note, more in-depth instructions can be found within the LXI manual. The first group of tools is the Select, Add, and Remove Point tools. Use these tools to move specific points or add and remove points. Remember, a path is like a dot-to-dot -dot picture that the vinyl cutter can follow to complete the picture. So, moving a dot will cause the line of the image to change. The second group is the Straighten, Round Corner, and Sharpen Corner tools. Use these tools to straighten up a line or to bend or sharpen a corner. The third group contains the Optimize by Curve, Arc, and Three Point Arc tools, along with the Make Arc tool. This group of tools will be used on the curves of your images. In most cases, these are the most important tools for cleaning up the rough edges of your image. The final group contains various tools for cutting and combining paths. This allows the splitting up of a single path into multiple paths, or taking multiple objects and joining them all together, making a seamless cut path. With practice and experience, the process of cleaning up an image will become quicker. However, first starting out can be a little time consuming. Note, it must be stressed. Technical support is available to assist if your software is not functioning properly. However, technical support cannot assist you on how to auto trace. Use the path edit tools or walk you through cleaning up images. To find answers regarding the tools, please consult the LXI manual found on the disk. Again, by practicing with the settings of the auto trace and the path editing tools, you too can become very successful at tracing raster images and then cutting them out.